What's up guys, it's Rev from Crash Gaming back again to talk to you about Destiny 6 and my new homie Scissors Groenberg. Uh, we orbed him up, we crested him up, we leveled him up to 60 and we awakened him five times to kind of give you an idea how you should expect him to perform at level one on his skills. So that being said, let's look at his skills very quickly. Uh, he is a debuff scaling monster, so if you have four debuffs on the enemy, you will do the maximum amount of damage with his main damage move, which is Patriotic Bang, which is a really cool sounding name for a kind of meh ability. Uh, at max debuffs, four or more, you get 1300% of attack power, and it can ignore 30% of target's defense. At max skill, we go to 1,650% of attack power and ignore 80% of defense. So were you to skill this up all the way, we're talking about a pretty sizable amount of damage. Uh, to help us out with that is Cruise Missile, uh, which I'm sure is supposed to actually decrease the target's crit rate and crit damage. The only problem with that is on level one, we start with an 8% chance to do that. And then at level 5, we have an astonishing 11% chance to do that. So, yeah. Alright. Uh, we're going to jump right into Arena and see how well we can do. We are going to run him with Paper Kerr and Scissor Shaolin. And in the Striker position, we're going to run uh, Paper Zao Chi because he increases the debuff duration of paper heroes. So really, in order to set this all up, we need the enemy to be bleeding. We need those debuffs to happen and stay happening for long enough for us to get in there and do that damage. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'm sure there are other comps that can make use of a debuff scaler. Uh, feel free to leave those in the comments. This is the one that I wanted to run and I've seen it work a little bit. So, that's what I did, but I'm sure you guys can help me come up with something better, maybe. Uh, we need to build this Orcus. Okay. So, here we go. We're up against Rock Benito, Scissor Shaolin, Paper Helga. We're going to go for the stun. Hopefully hit him with the bleed. He resisted that one. Okay. We hit him with Shaolin's move. We try to hit him with the Groenberg debuff. We got three debuffs, and they're dead. Okay. Pretty good. That was not bad. Thanks, Groenberg. Doing okay. The question you have to ask yourself is, was it Max Skilled Shaolin and Kerr that did that? Or was Groenberg really instrumental in that victory? All right, here we go. We're up against Paper Francisca. Happily, we've got the Leader Skill Advantage. Uh, attribute advantage is very good. It can really win you some games, and if it's against you, it can lose you some games. Paper Francisca is not too scary here. Really what we don't want is Paper Adonis, because we can't land any debuffs if we can't hit them. Alright, we hit him with the bleed. Hopefully get the stun as well. Did not get the... Here we go. We hit him with the Shaolin. Okay. Hit him with Groenberg's debuff. We should have three if he lands that. So they had 10,000 health left when he hit them. He is supposed to do 10,000 damage at level one. Okay, he's doing well so far. Maybe we gotta change his name back to, uh, you know, Gruen, 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 sorry, Gruenberg. <laughs> All right. Uh, we've got the Rock Jun. Hopefully this is not the big three because this comp has a just glaring weakness against that comp. But we're hoping for the best. Maybe we can be proven wrong in these swords. Uh, we're going to have to do some more extensive testing. We're going to definitely hesitate before we skill him up. Alright, let's try to get the bleed and the stun. Here we go, we got it, okay. We're going to go with the Groenberg debuff. Did we land that? Not a single chance. Okay. You see, if we have a debuff scaling monster that doesn't actually add his own debuffs to the mix, 
that is probably not going to go that well. Again here, I think Scissor Shaolin and Kerr really did the majority of the heavy lifting, and we could have had anybody in Gronberg's spot and actually won that one. All right, we're going to do one more. We're up against, oh, I love that skin, guys. The Christmas Shaolin. I don't want to change mine because I've become attached to her looking the way she does, but I, I do really, really like that skin. Rock Adonis. We gotta, we gotta test that. Okay. Uh, Paper Jun. Here we go. Okay. Uh, hit him with the stun, hopefully. No, we get stunned. Oh, guys, disaster. Disaster. Okay, we gotta come out of that. Come on, guys. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Okay. Oh. We may be perma-stunned. Okay. Oh, my God. This is a disaster. Okay. Stun. Stun. Oh, my God. Stun. Okay. Uh, hit him with the Grunberg debuff. Oh my lord. We had three debuffs and we hit them and it did nothing. Okay. This is how I expect most Grunberg matches, at least at level one, to end up. He's just not a big enough impact. He doesn't stun. He barely can debuff at all. I really think Netmarble is going to look at this champ and in the future he, he should be getting a buff at least to his debuff uh, percent chances because that, that needs to be at least 25-30% especially at max level. Uh, as for the rest of the patch we've got uh, combining elements. You can use a whole whole bunch of champs to maybe get a nat 5, a random one. Or we can feed two Nat Fives to hopefully not to not get those same Nat Fives back, but perhaps a dupe that you might already have. So unless you are a late game player and you've got a bunch of these uh, Nat Fives just sitting around gathering dust, you might want to use those. Uh, if not, probably save them in case you know you pull something that you might need to skill up with them. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. I uh, would love to hear from you about your experience with maybe Scissors Groenberg or the other paper Groenberg. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.